Disclaimer. The following highlight video contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk. Your discretion is advised. Shh. Mori, I don't like this place at all. Same. It doesn't feel very safe here. Oh, you think that? But at least we have each other. <laughs> Let me guess it will go faster and faster and be, or waterfall. Definitely waterfall. Definitely waterfall. Actually, that's something that's been really bothering me. Would you care to hear me out? Yeah. Um. Wirklich! Hero? Is that you? Oh, Mori, look, it's Hero! You didn't tell me Hero was already here. Well, actually, I didn't know that! Where have you been? Did you miss me? <laughs> what? Wait? What? What are you guys doing? Ow! Ow! Oh, Mori? Because it's a little fun fact I've never ate. Because in the first in the first night after we come back from wild space to real world, there was actually a little jump scare happening. But I just skipped this because I was too scared to do this. Because <laughs> fish no, it was dark. We already saw a big fishing something, and then suddenly, knock knock on the front door. Where I just say, mm -hmm, yeah, uh, if a fish, no. You threw up. Mmm, yes. I don't like the look in the mirror. Because I think there in the, on the left, there will be something scary happening soon. Okay, good, nothing has scary happening. Uh, no, 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 no. Yes, I would like to go to sleep. Thank you very much. You see those two, two, those two fingers? Those are the fingers of Fish U. And you know why they called the fingers of Fish U? Because they're actually from the, from the church of Fish U. And you know what the what the holy spell is? Well, it's push you in your butt heart. That is the official anthem of the Church of Fish You. Sorry for us bursting in like that. I could have sworn I heard some music. Well, not you alone. You must miss Mari a lot. It's been hard for me too. I still think about her every day. I just don't understand why she chose to leave us the way she did. I mean, somebody actually did it. I mean, you can't just just casually fall off those not not so not so not long stairs unless somebody pushed you. But I knew her as a person who would always want all of us to be happy, even if it was without her. You should really get some rest. Go upstairs, I'll come join you in a bit. Okay. Let me first... save... this empty basket. And then just look into the mother fishing bathroom mirror because I want to. Ah. On hindsight though. I'm very comfortable. Would you like to go to sleep? Yes. Hopefully we are not going back into white space. One day left. Oh, well, about that.
So, last day in the real world. Hopefully not in voice space. I mean, if it's in voice space, then oh boy, I'm scared. Good morning. I'm very, very comfortable then. You have a new message. Hey Roman, it's mommy. Tomorrow is the big day. The movers will be here first thing tomorrow morning. I gave them the keys, so don't freak out if you see them. Remember to finish organizing your things today. I'll be picking you up in my car out front. Just come outside when you're ready. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Zzz. Oh, hi, hero. <laughs> wow, I make it awesome. Good morning, Roman! Rise and shine! I noticed that to-do list with the chores your mom gave you, so I finished them all. Hope you don't mind. I mean, technically. Also, I made you breakfast. Ooh. Come down and get it while it's still warm. Kel's already on his second plate. Let me uh, first uh, look at this wonderful picnic basket. Um, let's just do this. And also, hi, Ron. This is a note from my birthday teeth every day. Love you, love you. Yes, I want to brush my teeth because it's actually better to brush your teeth before breakfast. Minty fresh, mm. minty fresh. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Minty fresh. And I. The grand piano, the water monitor. Okay. A question though, Omori. Why don't you tell everyone what you dreamed about? Top of the mor- Top of the mor- Top of the morning, you Roman! I mean, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's make it probably- Probably- Properly. Up! Top of the morning, Roman! Okay, no, no. Up! Top of the morning, Roman! Top of the morning to ya! Kel, Kel, Kel. Escade. Top of the morning to your lettuce! Top to the morning to your lettuce! And you know what happened? Well, hapsh! Hapsh! Top of the morning to your lettuce! Top of the morning to your lettuce! Du hast nicht laut genug geschrien. Top of the morning to your lettuce! You better munch. You better start eating before I finish it all. I already ate most of the bacon though. Oh, really? Another well, plate of bacon coming in hot. Oh boy, all from me, all from me, for me. Thanks a bunch, bro. <laughs> huh? Hum, hum, hum. What could that be? I'll go get the door. Okay, uh, I, the, ich, the, okay. Yeah. Whoa, it's you! Yeah! What? What is all this? What the heck, hell? Aubrey? Oh. Huh? What's going on over here? Over there? Dang it, Cal. Now I have egg all over me. Well, I'm sorry, bud. You're the last person I'd expect to see here. What are you doing here anyway? I was just about to get to that. It's just... It's Aubrey. She's not answering at her... Oh. Or her back to... Oh. All the rocks we've been throwing at her window. Ich hoffe, es sind so kleine, so kleine Steine, weil wenn es groß ist, dann somebody has to pay the window bill. She was really upset yesterday. I know this is your fault somehow. Tell me what you did to her. You want to tell me what happened yesterday, which is technically a long time ago. Like a few weeks for me, right now, yep. We didn't do anything. She's the one with the problem. 
Wait, if I can remember correctly, it was actually basil. Something has to do with something to do with basil, actually, which is actually also probably the reason why everything is happening in white space. Close. Don't tell me. Don't tell me that actually basil is the reason why Mari died. Please don't tell me this game. Because if you do, I will punch you. I will punch you in your... Somewhere. In your holes. I mean, you have two... You have three holes. I will punch through all of them. I don't mean like literally the, the name. Because... The, anyway. Hold on, Cal. If Aubrey is that upset, we should at least try to do something to help. This is Aubrey we are talking about. We've all known each other since we were kids. You weren't there when she pushed Basil into the lake. I told you. She's different now. We shouldn't bother with people like her. It's true that she's changed, but it doesn't change the fact that I still care about her. And even if she doesn't show it, I'm sure Aubrey still cares about me too. That's just the kind of person she is. I don't know about that. Today is our last chance to do this before Roman leaves. There's no way I can just let it end like this. We should at least try to talk to her. Well, me and Roman can tag along. But you're gonna have to be the one doing the talking. She listens to you the most. Thanks, Cal. Hey, Ken. Thanks for asking us for our help. You're a good friend. Huh? Uh... Sure, what up? Why don't you head out first? We'll meet you there. Uh, okay then, see ya. Yo, Roman! Thanks for letting us sleep over last night. And for spending your last few days with me. You're a real friend. High five! You want to high five? Of course, why not? Down low. <laughs> Achievement unlock. Don't know. How much? Or isn't feeling well. How could this be? This must be the work of something more sinister. Perhaps an evil mastermind. Yeah. Cold depression. <laughs> or actually something else. It's all an evil. Must track him down at once. Hello? Is anyone there? Come to think of it, have you ever been inside Aubrey's house before? I don't think so. She always came over to play with us. I don't remember hanging out at her house at all. Hello? Aubrey? Is there anyone home? Hello? Oh, it looks like the door was open. Let's go inside. I am scared. Oh no, we have a Natsuki kind of situation. I am scared. Hey Aubrey, how are you feeling? Warum kommen mit dieser, dieser Ort so bekannt vor? What the heck are you doing, guys doing here? Get the hell out of my room! We're sorry for intruding. It'll only take a bit. We just wanted to make sure you were okay. I'm fine. I've been hearing some things. But I just want to hear it from you. Can you tell me what happened yesterday? Nothing happened. Oh, bring your line! You pushed Basil into the lake! You know he can't swim. And what about this guy next to you? He can also swim. He can also swim. I mean, I can swim, but... Eh, that's good. I, I didn't mean to do that. I just meant to push him away. He could have drowned. I said it was an accident. Look, I'm sorry, okay? You're the one that keeps showing up and acting like you're better than everyone. Well, 
You're the one going around pulling, pulling Basil and stealing his stuff. Stop talking like you know anything about that. I keep telling you that it's none of your business. But it's my business. You, you and Basil, and everyone here, you are my best friends. All right, all right. I see the problem here. This is just your typical Cal and Aubrey fight. Just make up, you two. You've done it so many times before. I feel a fight happening. Hey, these are the missing photos of Mari. There. They're all I have left of her. But you know, it's still not right of you to take them from Basil. These photos belong to him. Well, it's on. It's no use now. Even if we have these photos, I already threw the rest away. They must be long gone by now. That's not true, Aubrey. Norman has them right here. What? He, he does? But how? I could have sworn I threw them away in the trash. <laughs> Unless you and Roman. <laughs> you really dug through my trash for this thing. Yeah, only for this thing. We don't. We didn't dug anything else up. <laughs> Luckily. Unless some. Unless somebody, which name will not be named, <coughs> has so found something else. That's kind of gross. <laughs> yeah. Aubrey, let's put Mari's photos back in the photo album. All these photos, they belong together in one place. Hero took the photo album from you. Come on, guys. We should do this together. Do you want to look through? Yes. My first solo. My best friend Roman trying out his new violin. Starting to take lessons again, uh, so he can play a recital with his sister Mari. So exciting! It's my twelfth birthday today. I bought my friends, but my friends forgot. But they all surprised me with a strawberry cake. Mari and Hero fell asleep on the couch. They look so cozy together. <laughs> I hope they don't mind their photo. Murray's dad might be kind of mad if he saw it. Understandable, also. Oh, it's so cute! Here and the Murray washing dishes from breakfast. We're staying away with Murray and Roman this weekend. It's getting warmer lately, so we're about to go to the park. Kel says there's a secret lake area behind some bushes, so we are going to check it out. Sorry, the last day of March. We're having a picnic with Mari and our secret lady spot. Mari wanted to take a picture of everyone. Say cheese. After eating all the food, everyone fell asleep except me, here and Mari. Something unfortunate happened when I was taking the photo. Ahem, thanks a lot, Hector. I'll have to cover it up with, uh, with tape later. I caught Mari carrying Roman on the way home from school today. He must have fallen asleep on the bus. I thought it was so cute, so I got my camera out as quick as I could snap this once in a lifetime photo. <sighs> Sometimes I wish I had a sibling. Oh no, it's that it's okay. Oh, it so. Roman and Carl gave up on <clears throat> making flower cones. I don't know, but Aubrey and I got the hang of it real fast. Roman thinks a flower crown really suits me. Maybe just a flower is okay. I'm doing me Aubrey so oh you're cute. Um, Mary bought her one popsicle, so one of every flame. Orange got lemon, Hero got the root beer. Okay. Kel got orange, Aubrey got watermelon, and uh, Mary got grape. Mm. Mine was banana. 
It is still okay. Kind of but not nice. Oh, for sure, in that circle, I guess. Or who's? Okay, the ice is really schwer, but I'm under him was. Also, white space is on. Yeah, fuck. Mari says she wants to go get the summer tan. I'm scared to fall asleep in the sun since I get sunburned really easy. Hmm. I'm not sure what Kel is doing here, but he's probably having a good time. Yeah. Was he on a bit? Odd. I don't know how old Mari is, so I'm just going to say her swimsuit looks cute. That's all I see. You're sleeping on Mari. <clears throat> I see a ship there. He's all tired out for swimming. It seems like Mari won't be able to get her summon then at all. Unless she wants to hear uh, her hear, head on her stomach. <laughs> We're about to head home, but I managed to catch one last photo with Mari and Hero. Okay, Mari, Hero, OTP. It looks so happy, a match made in heaven. Okay. One more thing. Also, das ist ein bisschen. Also, einfach ein Monat bevor mein Geburt eigentlich hier wurde. Okay, we're catching the. Ba, 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 I wanted, I want to spend every day in here, but it's a shame that summer vacation's almost over. I hope we get to use this treehouse more next summer. I went to hobbies to read the latest edition of Captain Space Boy. I'm on so into it right now. I'm sure it's all anyone, I'm sure it's all anyone is going to be take, talking about once school starts. I'm playing cards with Cal, Hero, and Aubrey. It's so easy to read, they can't hide anything on their faces. Mari baked their one cookie from scratch. They were chocolate chip and super delicious, like always. Mmm, chocolate chocolate chip cookie. Ah. Oh. Looks like I have the winning hand. <laughs> but nobody knows that yet. Some, some good old blackjack. It's the first day of school today. Me, Roman, Cal, and Aubrey are upright and early. Aubrey is so photogenic. Yeah. Okay. Roman giving Mari a big hug. Mari doesn't come home until late now because she's taking extra classes to prepare for college. Me and Roman have been hanging out a lot, but I'm sure he still misses her a lot. Yeah, most of Oh, she's so cute! Mari practicing her part of a big recital next month. We're all going to go watch. It's going to be Mari and Roman's first performance together, but I know they'll do just fine. We will all be showing our support from the audience. Mari getting a little camera shy because she's made a small mistake. Don't worry, Mari, just keep going. No one will ever notice. After some begging, Roman came to join Mari for recital practice. <laughs> They're still working out some stuff, but they are already sound so amazing. I know they're going to be good at it. Go, Mari. Go, Roman. You can do it. There. Now everything is back where it should be. That's the one picture me. Look, like one photo is still missing, but at least the rest of them are back together. Now, doesn't that feel better? <sighs> we really did have a lot of fun together, huh? Yeah. I guess we really did. I'm sorry, guys. I've been acting like such a jerk. I'm sorry too, Aubrey. I really haven't been treating you so great either. Alright, apologies accepted. Now we can all be friends again. Who wants a hug? Come on, hero. Not now. You're so embarrassing. I I'm good. Thanks. All we need to do now is check up on Basil. I hope he's feeling better today. Aubrey, knowing everything I heard from Cal, I'm sure you know you need to apologize to him. Yeah, I know. Thanks, Aubrey. It's good to have you back. Now let's get uh, you out of this house. Hmm. Okay. 
Yo, Aubrey, are you okay? Hey, Kim, I'm good. Thanks for bringing everyone here. Hey, guys, guys, Aubrey's here. Oh, yeah, Aubrey, Aubrey, Aubrey. Yo, Aubrey, are you feeling any better? We even saved the taffy for you. What happened in there? Your face is all red. You need me to teach someone a lesson? Don't worry about me, guys. Sorry for ignoring you all the year earlier. Eh, it's no biggie. We're just glad you're here already. Right, Charlie? Yeah. Aubrey, Aubrey, let's go hang out at the park. I want to show you some cool new moves I came up with. I was up all practicing all night. Ah, that sounds fun, but maybe later. I have some things to take care of first. We'll hang out tomorrow, I promise. Aw, oh, okay. We'll see you later then. Aubrey, don't keep us waiting too long. You know, I won't come. I'll be back before you know it. Come on, you're here at home. I'm gonna recycle the photo of the whole bin. Because you must accept that they are trash. Reduce the recycle one. Why is this thick, Niff? I see how it's all right, though. I can. Hey, don't judge me, okay? I'm just doing this for a college kid. Oh, no. I just feel... Uh... Hey, don't judge me. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, my God. to do a mystery oh you have to be full fun can me you say first you meant to never but more more charming this doesn't suit you why don't we take care of the oh uh, yeah bro, bro. Oh, you mother of a fisher! Oh, yeah, probably, yeah. Oh, my God, I knew. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it looks like you outnumber us now. It will seem we have no but we're all right. Let's go. And one up. Barbecue. Oh, so I guess uh, we should get going too. Oh, the fish. Hello. Welcome to the top of the tower of rubble. It is I, the Recycle Path. The only one chosen to speak in the Holy Bin's name. I had a dream last night. The spirit of the Robert Glove told me that this world is no longer fit. But we must pull the stay Holy Bin in the sky, command us. We should trash this world with humans and biodegrading made in many communities. What? Woman? Uh, woman? Are you- Hey, are you alright? You've been staring into space for like five minutes now. Huh? What were you trying to me about, woman? Your expression, it was so peaceful. <laughs> hey, 
Hey Polly, how's Basil doing? We were wondering if you could hang out with him today. Oh, hello Aaron. I'm afraid Basil isn't home right now. He's in the hospital. What? What happened? Oh, my apologies. Let me clarify. Basil is in the hospital visiting his grandma. Oh, good. He was rushed to intensive care yesterday evening. Oh, no. I'm really sorry to hear that. Do you know where when he'll be back? I'm not exactly sure. Maybe sometime in the afternoon? Sorry. Would you mind if we check back here later? We're, we are really worried about him. I don't mind at all. Please come by to visit. I think Basil would appreciate having some friends over. I'm happy to know that Basil has friends that care so much about him. Oh, it's nothing. Friends are supposed to be there for each other. Right, Aubrey? Yeah, sure. Anyway, we'll be back later. See you, Polly. Okay, see you. Well, I guess we have to wait until he gets back. Is there anything you guys want to do until then? I'm okay just hanging out and doing whatever. Then I would somewhere indoors. It's way too hot today. Sure, maybe we can hang out at our house a bit a little. And then later when it cools down we can all go see the tree house. Oh yeah, we should do that. Especially since Aubrey is with us now too. Our old tree house, huh? Uh, I'm sorry. Our old tree house, huh? I haven't been there in so long. Yeah, we haven't yet either. We wanted to go see it yesterday, but it was too dark outside. How about you, Roman? What do you want to do today? It's your last day, so you should call the shots. Yeah, you should decide how you want to spend your last day in far away town. Lead the way, Roman. Well, how about some good old pizza? It doesn't know how to say, do you want to go to... No... Oh, well. Hmm... Yeah, Aubrey? Wow, I guess you really are moving away, huh, Roman? When I see this empty house, it all feels so sudden. But for you, moving away must have been a long time coming. I hope you can find some peace out there. Or, you know, some happiness. There have been a lot of things that were unsaid these past few years. And painful memories that we kept to ourselves. But even though all that, I'm relieved that we were still able to become friends again. I'm happy that we are all here. So that we can face this together. It's okay, hero. I'll go first. Hey Roman, when you move away, do you think it'd be too much trouble if you could? Aubrey! Roman! Are you guys coming? Hey, hey, hey. Uh, actually, no more one. It's nothing. Aubrey! Aubrey! Hello, under player. Player. How are you? And welcome to Omori, probably the f last end part. Oh. This is where Mari. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It feels like forever ago. But I can still remember the day perfectly. That. That day was really busy. In the morning, I went out with mom to buy some nice clothes and shoes. We spent all day shopping and didn't get home until the afternoon. I remember that day, that day too. I went out to get a haircut with dad. Oh yeah, you were there with your dad too, Aubrey. 
We were preparing for something, weren't we? Yeah, we were. We were going to watch Mari and Roman's music recital. It was, it was supposed to be that night. But when we came home in the evening... Even after all this time... I, I still don't understand why she would do it. I... I don't think any of us ever will. Okay, the Cal ending. I have no idea how to get to get. I, again, I'm completely blind. I have actually no idea, and I'm interested about this ending. Maybe I will get it at some point. Maybe not. Nah. Hey guys, let's let's keep going. I wonder what happened to Mari. Actually, how did she? Now I thought going down the stairs. But no, it's even worse. It's even worse. Wait a moment. Wow. This place has seen better days, but it looks like everything is right where we left it. All our, all our old stuff is still here. Hey look, here's our playing cards. I was the best at card games, wasn't I, guys? Mr. F Plant Egg. Oh, you're so dirty. Look at all these old books. So this is where all my cookbooks went. I think I just stepped on the jack. Oh man, such good times. Hmm. Why did we have a toast in here? Oh. Don't forget it's in the toy box. You put the toy box key in your pocket. Hey, look! Roman found a photo of us. You all look so happy. Wasn't there a photo missing from the photo album? That must be it. Hey, you're right, Cal. They take, take out your photo album, Roman. You should add it in. And the photo album is complete. There. Now the photo album is complete again. You know, this is probably the last time that we all be together here in this treehouse. Now that the photo album is complete, we should look through it one last time. Got the idea, Hero. The photo album is already out, so we might as well... Right, Roman? Let's start from the beginning. Oh, Fishna! Oh, Fishna! I will go to exactly this picture and just look at it. Ta da! All summer we have been working on the treehouse in Roman's backyard, and today is it's finally finished. Here and his dad did most of the work, but Orbe and I made paper plants to put it in the window hall. Still, we all did a pretty good job, if I do say so myself. Don't. Put the fire. It's the plan is bound out of context. Okay. Yeah, I'm done looking. Oh, Mari. I miss her so much. Same. I. I miss her too. Hey, come on, guys. Why the long faces? Look at all of us back together again. Mari would be so happy for us. Yeah, you're right. She would be. Ah. If only Basie could be here too. Huh? Hey Aubrey, what's up? 
Um, Toast. Evie. How about it up here where it was pretty bump and he found out the he couldn't use it. Boy. And you know how to work the dog. The stuff at your house frequently. There was cock books. Where about them for his birthday? Hmm. Or he used to play softball but quit when she injured her knee. Friends made from Bay Area and basically made these together. Well, the date of the recital has passed. Hmm? Whatcha doing, Aubrey? Oh. You know. After everyone drifted apart, I felt so alone. But now I realized that I was the one who was pushing everyone away. In the few months after Mari died, everything changed so fast. Owen and Basil became more closed off. Callum made a bunch of friends playing sports, and Hero always seemed so busy, too busy studying. I was so angry at how life kept moving on. I felt like everyone abandoned me, and abandoned Mari too. But I couldn't see that everyone was dealing with the pain in their own way. After Ron stopped coming to school, I saw Basil sitting alone during lunch. So I asked him if he wanted to study together at his house. He seemed kind of uneasy about it at first, but after I begged him, he agreed. The walk there was really quiet. Basil wouldn't even look at me. And when we got to his room, I tried to talk to him. But he said he had to go to the bathroom and ran off. That's when I spotted his old photo album on his bookshelf. I just wanted to go through the photos because, well, I guess I just wanted to see everyone happy again. But when I opened it, Basil had blacked out all of the photographs with marker. I couldn't believe it. He had even blacked out Mari's face. What? Why do I have the feeling it's actually Basil, the, the mastermind here, and just Aubrey is just actually misunderstood? All of our memories together. It felt like he had destroyed them. It was so, I was so confused and angry. I thought he was a nutcase. So, instead of trying to understand him, I stole his photo album and started calling him creep and things like that. And eventually, I wasn't the only one calling him names. I fell, I feel like a scum for that now. But you know what? Ever since then, all I've been doing this is trying to cut myself off from everyone. It's kind of funny. What I've been doing is worse than what Basil did, yet I'm the one who was angry at him. I'm such an idiot. Hey, it's okay, Aubrey. We've all made mistakes. At the time, I didn't really understand what was happening. I was afraid that I'd somehow make things works. Worse, worse. So I just decided to stay out of all of it. I'm really sorry, Aubrey. And I'm sorry to you too, Roman. I was a pretty crappy friend. I mean... We were still pretty young there, then kill. But I'm the oldest. So I should have known to take care of everyone. I... I just... Oh, no, it's fine. Everyone's here now. So it's okay. I don't... I don't deserve friends like you. <laughs> don't be silly, Aubrey. Of course you do. During all this time, it's pretty obvious that you still care about us. I mean, just look at the photos in the photo album. There's no trace of any of the black marks you were talking about anywhere. You can see all of our faces just fine. I don't suppose they all just cleaned themselves, did they? 
It's alright, Aubrey. I promise from now on, I'll always be there for you. Yeah, I promise too. We should all be here for each other. Hey, you know what? I think this is the perfect time for a big group hug. Group hug? Oh yeah, cut man! Well, wait just one second. Ready or not, here we come! <laughs> I want to be in this group hug right now. Right, like, yeah. We should go see if Basie is back home here later today. I need to uh, apologize to him. And I think right now, he's probably the one that needs us the most. A pinwheel blows freely in the wind. 